The Housing Affordability Challenge in the USA Welcome to the tangled web of, home sweet home, in the good old USA, where the dream of affordable housing can sometimes feel more elusive than a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. In this chat, we'll dive into the nitty gritty of housing affordability, so grab your cup of coffee and let's get started. Understanding the problem. Rising home prices and rental costs. First off, let's talk numbers. In the last decade or so, home prices have been doing their best impression of a SpaceX rocket, shooting up to astronomical heights. On average, the median home price in the United States jumped from around $167,000 in 2012 to nearly $350,000 in 2021. That's more than double in just nine years. And if you're hunting for a place in a bustling metropolis like New York City or San Francisco, be prepared to part with even more of your hard-earned cash. And then there are rental costs, which have been climbing like a mountaineer with no fear of heights. In places like San Francisco, a one-bedroom apartment can easily set you back over $3,000 a month. That's enough to make anyone consider a career as a professional nomad. Factors contributing to housing unaffordability. Now, let's dissect the beast and see what's been fueling this unaffordability bonanza. Supply and demand. One of the key culprits here is the classic duo of supply and demand. As more people flock to urban areas in search of jobs and opportunities, the demand for housing shoots through the roof. But the supply of new housing units hasn't kept pace, leading to a shortage. When you have more folks bidding for a limited number of homes, prices naturally go up. Stagnant wages. Another piece of the puzzle is wage growth. While housing costs have been going all jack in the beanstalk, wages for many Americans have been stuck in a less thrilling, groundhog day, loop. When your income doesn't keep pace with rising rent or mortgage payments, well, you can see where this is headed. Zoning regulations and land use. Zoning regulations and land use policies can also put a damper on affordability. These rules can restrict the construction of new, more affordable housing units, leaving many people stuck in a game of musical chairs with too few chairs to go around. But wait, it's not just about numbers and economic theories, it's about real people. Picture Jane, a single mom working two jobs to make ends meet. She's constantly worried about how she'll manage to pay the rent and still have enough left over for her kids' education. Or consider Mark and Sarah, a young couple who dreamed of buying their first home. They'd been saving diligently, but when they finally started house hunting, they found themselves priced out of the market. It was a harsh reality check for them, and they're now stuck in a cycle of renting, struggling to save enough to make that dream a reality. These stories are all too common. They highlight the human side of the housing affordability crisis, where people's hopes and dreams are often at odds with the harsh reality of the market. So, there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the statistical data, underlying factors, and real-life tales that make up the complex tapestry of housing unaffordability in the USA. It's a Gordian knot of a problem, and unraveling it will require creative solutions and a concerted effort from all corners of society. Policy and Solutions Rent Control Now, rent control often sounds like the knight in shining armor for tenants. It's designed to shield them from those heart-stopping rent hikes that can make you question whether you need to sell a kidney just to keep a roof over your head. The pro here is crystal clear, it provides stability for renters. People can budget better when they know their rent won't shoot up like a SpaceX launch. But, and here's the big but, it can also be a double-edged sword. Landlords might be less motivated to maintain properties or invest in new ones when their profits are capped. It's like trying to convince someone to bake you a cake but saying they can't have a slice. This can lead to a decline in the quality of housing stock over time. And in the worst case scenario, some landlords might even exit the rental market altogether. Affordable housing programs. Now, let's talk about affordable housing programs. 
These are like the Robin Hood of housing policy, aiming to take from the housing rich and give to the housing poor. These programs often involve subsidies, tax incentives, or partnerships with developers to create more affordable housing units. The big pro here is that they increase the supply of affordable housing, which is desperately needed. They make sure that more people can access decent, reasonably priced homes. And let's face it, that's a win for society as a whole. But, and yes, there's a, but, here too, they can be costly. These programs often require a significant investment of public funds, and that can be a tough pill to swallow for taxpayers. Plus, there's the challenge of ensuring that these programs actually reach the folks who need them most, and that the housing created is of good quality. Zoning Regulations Now, zoning regulations may not have the same superhero allure as rent control or affordable housing programs, but they're like the city planner's secret weapon. These rules dictate what can be built where, and tweaking them can have a big impact. The pro of zoning changes is that they can encourage more efficient land use. Think of it as playing a game of Tetris with buildings, fitting more people into existing urban areas without sprawling out into the countryside. This can lead to increased housing supply, which in turn can help ease affordability pressures. But, you guessed it, there's a, but, here as well. Changing zoning can be a complex, contentious process. Existing residents may not be thrilled about taller buildings or denser neighborhoods. It can also take time to see the effects of zoning changes, and not everyone has the patience for that. The impact on communities. Broader impact on neighborhoods and communities. Picture a neighborhood where housing costs have spiraled out of control. What was once a diverse mix of families, young professionals, and retirees is now a monoculture of the wealthy. This isn't just about economic diversity, it's about the soul of a community. When housing becomes a luxury good, it can push out longtime residents and disrupt the social bonds that hold neighborhoods together. The local grocery store, the corner cafe, and the school down the street can all suffer when a community loses its diverse makeup. The very essence of what made a neighborhood special can evaporate. Moreover, when housing is unaffordable, it can have ripple effects on local economies. Workers are forced to live farther away from their jobs, leading to longer commutes, more traffic congestion, and increased pollution. It's like a chain reaction that stretches beyond the housing market and touches every aspect of community life. Emphasis on diverse and inclusive housing options. Let's talk about the importance of diverse and inclusive housing options. Imagine a neighborhood where people of different incomes, backgrounds, and life experiences come together to call it home. It's like a tapestry woven with threads of diversity, creating a vibrant and resilient community. Diverse housing options aren't just about fairness, they're about strength. When people from various walks of life share a neighborhood, they bring with them a tapestry of skills, perspectives, and traditions. This enriches the community, fostering creativity, innovation, and a sense of belonging. Inclusivity in housing options isn't just about welcoming those who are often marginalized, it's also about creating spaces where everyone can thrive. It's about ensuring that young families, essential workers, and those who have called a place home for generations can all find a place to live without breaking the bank. In the end, housing affordability isn't just an economic equation, it's a social one. It's about preserving the heart and soul of our neighborhoods and ensuring that they remain places where everyone can find their own version of, home sweet home. So, let's not just count dollars and cents, let's measure the richness and inclusivity of our communities. The role of real estate. The real estate industry is responding to the changing needs of its customers in a variety of ways. Trends such as co-living, micro-apartments, and innovative housing models are all emerging in response to the demand for more affordable, efficient, and flexible living arrangements. Co-living is a type of housing arrangement in which residents share common living spaces, such as kitchens, bathrooms, and living areas. This type of housing is often popular with young professionals and urban dwellers who are looking for a more affordable and social living experience. Micro-apartments are small, self-contained apartments that are typically less than 400 square feet. Micro-apartments are becoming increasingly popular in urban areas where land is scarce and housing prices are high. 
Innovative housing models are also emerging in response to the changing needs of real estate consumers. For example, some developers are building homes that are designed to be more energy efficient and sustainable. Other developers are building homes that are specifically designed for seniors or people with disabilities. The real estate industry is constantly evolving to meet the changing needs of its customers. By embracing new trends and technologies, the industry is able to provide consumers with more choices and flexibility. The real estate industry is a dynamic and ever-changing one. As the needs of consumers evolve, so too must the industry that serves them. In recent years, we have seen a number of new trends emerge in the real estate market, all of which are responding to the changing needs of consumers. One of the most notable trends is the rise of co-living. Co-living is a type of housing arrangement in which residents share common living spaces, such as kitchens, bathrooms, and living areas. This type of housing is often popular with young professionals and urban dwellers who are looking for a more affordable and social living experience. Another trend that is gaining popularity is the micro-apartment. Micro-apartments are small, self-contained apartments that are typically less than 400 square feet. Micro-apartments are becoming increasingly popular in urban areas where land is scarce and housing prices are high. In addition to co-living in micro-apartments, we are also seeing a number of other innovative housing models emerge. For example, some developers are building homes that are designed to be more energy efficient and sustainable. Other developers are building homes that are specifically designed for seniors or people with disabilities. Financing your home. Now, when it comes to buying a home, most of us don't have a suitcase full of cash lying around, right? So, we turn to financing, which is just a fancy way of saying, borrowing money to buy a home. Most folks opt for a mortgage, a big old loan specifically designed for buying real estate. But here's where it gets interesting. Mortgages come in all shapes and sizes, like shoes in a fancy boutique. You've got fixed rate mortgages that offer the security of knowing your interest rate won't go on a roller coaster ride. Then, there are adjustable rate mortgages, which can start with lower rates but might give you heart palpitations when they start adjusting. And let's not forget about the down payment. This is the chunk of change you need to pony up when you're buying a home. The bigger the down payment, the smaller your mortgage, but it can be a bit like trying to catch a shooting star for many first-time buyers. Homeownership Challenges Now, let's talk about the challenges of homeownership. It's not all sunshine and rainbows once you've got the keys in your hand. There's the not-so-fun stuff like property taxes, insurance, and maintenance. It's like adopting a plant that never stops growing. And don't get me started on the emotional roller coaster of homeownership. There are the highs, like painting your living room exactly the shade of green you've always dreamed of, and the lows, like the water heater deciding to throw in the towel in the middle of winter. Plus, there's the whole thing about being tied down to one place. When you're renting, you can pack up and move to Bali on a wimp well, sort of. But when you own a home, you're kind of committed. It's like being in a long-term relationship with a house. The American dream. But for many, homeownership is still the American dream. It's about putting down roots, building equity, and having a place to call your own. It's the feeling of pride when you mow your own lawn or hang your kids' artwork on the fridge of your very own kitchen. So, while financing a home and dealing with the ups and downs of homeownership can be a wild ride, it's a journey that many folks are willing to take. After all, there's something magical about having a place where you can paint the walls purple if you want to, even though your neighbors might raise an eyebrow. Top of form. Bottom of form. In this whirlwind tour through the complex issue of housing affordability in the USA, we've covered everything from skyrocketing home prices to the challenges of homeownership. It's clear that this topic isn't just about numbers and policies, it's about real people and their dreams. The numbers don't lie, home prices have shot up like a SpaceX rocket, making the dream of homeownership feel distant for many. Rental costs have scaled Mount Everest heights, leaving folks with budgeting headaches that can rival a SpaceX launch countdown. We've identified culprits like supply and demand imbalances, stagnant wages, and zoning regulations that contribute to this housing unaffordability bonanza. And we've heard the stories of Jane, Mark, and Sarah, real people navigating the harsh reality of the housing market. 
but there's hope on the horizon. We've explored policy solutions like rent control, affordable housing programs, and zoning changes that can help untangle this Gordian knot. Each has its pros and cons, but they all offer paths toward a more affordable and inclusive housing landscape. We've also delved into the broader impact of housing unaffordability on neighborhoods and communities. When housing becomes a luxury, it can erode the diversity and soul of communities, leading to longer commutes and other unintended consequences. Embracing diverse and inclusive housing options is key to building vibrant, resilient neighborhoods. And speaking of diversity in housing, the real estate industry is stepping up to the plate with innovative solutions like co-living and micro-apartments. These trends cater to changing needs, providing more affordable and flexible living arrangements for urban dwellers. Financing a home is no easy feat, with mortgages and down payments as varied as shoes in a fancy boutique. Owning a home comes with its own set of challenges, from property taxes to the emotional roller coaster of maintenance and repairs. Yet, for many, homeownership remains the American dream, a place to call their own, to paint the walls purple if they want to. So, as we wrap up our conversation on the housing affordability challenge in the USA, remember that it's not just about finding affordable shelter, it's about nurturing vibrant, diverse communities and realizing the American dream of having a place to call home. It's a journey filled with twists and turns, but it's one worth taking as we work together to make, home sweet home, a reality for everyone. Top of form. Bottom of form. Subscribe, like and share see you later bye bye.